Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday morning, April the 16th. We have a severe weather threat uh, later today focused on the area of Iowa, Missouri, Illinois. We have a very strong upper level of vorticity maxima that will move just to the north and west of that particular part of the nation, producing some strong upward motion, severe thunderstorms, possible isolated tornadoes, again, focused in uh, the Iowa, uh, Missouri, Illinois area. We do have a continuation of cold air outbreaks coming into the U.S. over the next couple of weeks. Also, additional Pacific Ocean storms will move into California, so we're not quite done with the pattern that we've had over the past several weeks in that we have continuation of these cold air masses and Pacific Ocean storms, so still quite an active weather pattern for the foreseeable future. For today, this is the outlook as depicted by NOAA's Storm Prediction Center. They're based out in Norman, Oklahoma, and they have an enhanced risk across much of Iowa, northern Missouri, and western part of Illinois, but really that uh, threat extends all the way southward to Arkansas again. We'll see in a moment here, very strong upper level max, vorticity max, will move in this fashion here, just to the north and west of this area, and on the eastern flank of that upper level vorticity max, very strong upward motion, again, can lead to some isolated or tor uh, tornadoes later on today into tonight. Well, let's use the la uh, last night's conventional run of the GFS, 0Z run of the GFS, to first start off by looking at these vorticity fields in the uh, middle part of the atmosphere. We're looking at 500 millibar uh, layer. This is kind of a ro areas of rotation or spin in the upper part of the atmosphere, and they uh, tend to lead to strong upward motion just on the eastern side of these maxima. And right here is the uh, very impressive upper level system here as we begin the day here on Tuesday, April 16th. And again, it will lead to strong upward motion right here, this part of uh, the middle Mississippi Valley region, really Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, maybe even all the way down to Arkansas. We'll clear the map here and then uh, push forward here. And again, the system rise up just to the north and west of so the, the uh, enhanced risk zone here later today and then uh, by early this evening. Again, this is the area to watch. Severe thunderstorms likely, isolated tornadoes possible. Now, we move forward here and that system continues to push to the north and east, reaching the uh, uh, Great Lakes by later tomorrow, tomorrow night. Becomes kind of an unsettled second half of the week in the mid-Atlantic region, not any real organized systems, so there'll be a threat of showers from time to time, places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe a couple of thunderstorms mixed into the picture, but no real all-day rain events uh, of, uh, uh, looks likely in that second half of the week here, but just a general unsettled weather pattern here moving forward. Then we'll go into the end of the work week here and a lot of activity going across uh, southern Canada here in terms of an upper level low and we'll see in a moment here still a lot of cold air left across Canada colder than normal for this time of the year that certainly will have an impact on the U.S. We'll go out into the upcoming weekend here is the early part of the upcoming weekend and generally high pressure will uh, remain in control will we'll return to the mid-Atlantic region the Midwest and the Tennessee Valley region for the upcoming weekend, but it'll be somewhat unsettled before we get there for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now we're starting off today with above normal conditions across much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation as depicted here by the Zero Z run of the GFS. It's the 12-hour forecast from that Zero Z run for this morning, Tuesday morning. Colder than normal air up across the Pacific Northwest, colder than normal air across the uh, southeastern part of Canada. This is the Hudson Bay in Canada. And we'll move forward here. Uh, we'll certainly see some of this colder than normal air move back into the U.S. over the next week to, to two weeks, really. And that keeps the pattern, the overall pattern, relatively active. Here we go. Uh, by later today into tonight, you see this? Uh, the, let's backtrack a little bit. This is by later tonight. We do have kind of a difference in temperatures here. Colder than west warmer to the east and you add in that strong upper level vorticity maxima and you have an unstable 
atmosphere again Iowa Missouri Arkansas Illinois watch out later today into tonight well into tonight for that threat of severe thunderstorms and isolated tornadoes keep moving forward here comes one colder than normal air mass that becomes rather widespread by the time we get to the end of the week across the northern plains southern part of Canada kind of surrounded by warmer than normal conditions across the southern half of the nation here and we'll continue to move forward and that generally slides slowly south and east here we are by the time we get to Sunday morning uh, whereas today we have much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation above normal by the uh, middle part of the upcoming weekend uh, much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation will be below normal uh, going into the uh, second half of April and then take a look at here uh, by the time we get to next Tuesday a week from today, yet another widespread colder than normal air mass across uh, uh, southern Canada, really focused on the Hudson Bay region of Canada. Some of that colder than normal air will spill down into the eastern states. Certainly New England looks like it'll get uh, well below normal by the time we get to the middle part of next week. So again, we're not quite done with these cold air outbreaks into the U.S., nor are we done with the Pacific Ocean storms. We'll see uh, that in a moment with the surface forecast maps. Here we are at the end of next week. This is about a week and a half away. Colder than normal air associated with yet another Pacific Ocean storm moving into California. A lot of cold air relative to normal for this time of the year. Uh, as we get to the end of next week, this is all the way out to Friday, April 26th, getting into that last week of April, about a week and a half away from this morning. Now here's the surface forecast map for this morning, to, uh, Tuesday morning, April the 16th. Nice day, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. There was some scattered, strong to severe thunderstorm activity yesterday across the southern part of the mid-Atlantic region as we uh, mentioned in yesterday morning's video that was likely to be the case a nice day today following up following the passage of that weak cool frontal system that has dropped all the way to the south now but here is where the action uh, lies as we begin the day here on Tuesday strong surface storm 987 millibar low you see some colder air cold enough air for some snow across the higher elevations of the Colorado Rockies here. So you have a combination of colder air moving in from the north and west. Again, we've mentioned this influx of warm and humid air this time of the year, right out of the Gulf of Mexico into, excuse me, into the middle Mississippi Valley region. So here comes your clash in terms of the temperature pattern. And again, we saw a few moments ago, the very strong upper level vorticity maxima. That is playing a big role in the severe weather threat later today. So we go into the uh, midday and here comes a breakout of likely strong thunderstorms across Iowa by the middle of today and that surface low actually strengthens a little bit from 987 to 985 millibars still showing up a little bit of snow in those highest elevations of the Colorado Rockies and this is the time period to watch all the way from Iowa into Illinois down to Missouri and Arkansas and perhaps as far north as uh, southern part of Minnesota, strong low pressure just to the west of that enhanced risk zone region. Now, we keep moving forward here into the day on Wednesday, and again, kind of an unsettled period for the Mid-Atlantic region, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Not all day rain events, but it could be showers from time to time, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, and here comes that low pressure area out of the middle part of the nation, into the Great Lakes region by tomorrow. And again, still a lot of cold air left across Canada with snow showing up here later tomorrow into tomorrow night across the southern part of Canada and also some of those northern Rocky Mountain states experiencing cold enough air for additional snow as we uh, uh, start to work our way through the second half of April. Go far forward in time here into the latter part of the week and here we go on Friday, another low pressure area, uh, a weak system, 10, 12 millibar low. But again, it keeps it unsettled in the mid-Atlantic region. Again, we've talked about these blue dash lines here, these uh, what we call thickness lines. These represent the thickness of that layer between the surface, or 1,000 millibars, in the middle part of the atmosphere, or 500 millibars. The lower the thickness values, 
the lower the temperatures and when you see a 540 thickness this time of the year as depicted right here by this run of the GFS that's pretty darn cold air for the second half of April and that's uh, this is that cold air mass right here dropping southward uh, from Canada into the northern US and it's slowly working its way to the south and east this is again the Friday morning forecast map now let's clear the deck go out a little bit farther in time here again that cold air mass slides to the south and east here's that 540 line as we begin the weekend cold enough for snow over the Colorado Rockies as we begin the upcoming weekend and uh, uh, rain perhaps some strong thunderstorms across Texas go out a little bit farther in time and here we go by the end of the uh, upcoming weekend that cold air centered over the Great Lakes and New England maybe down in the mid-Atlantic region cold for this time of the year again this is colder than normal temperatures for the third week of April uh, some uh, additional rainfall across the southern states as we begin the day on Sunday that's it for now watch out for the severe weather threat later today Iowa Missouri Illinois maybe as far north as southern Minnesota and as far south as northern Arkansas and a, a generally an unsettled weather pattern for the mid-Atlantic region Wednesday Thursday and Friday that's it for now for arcfieldweather.com this has been meteorologist Paul Dorian